This video will walk you through completing your IRP renewal online in the Wisconsin Carrier Registration System, or Whiskers. If you do not have access to Whiskers, please close this video and watch the Whiskers Access videos first. To begin your online renewal process, click the Print Renewal Notice link under the IRP menu. Two buttons will display. Select the Print Renewal Notice button to open the renewal PDF. Click the Return to Home button. The PDF renewal packet will show the mileage and heavy vehicle use tax, or HUBIT, reporting periods needed for this renewal. Once you have your actual miles and HUBIT ready, click Process Renewal. Your account information will appear. Review the information and enter how many power units you will be renewing. If you do not have actual miles or if your account information is not accurate, select Cancel and contact Motor Carriers. If all the information is correct, click Continue. Confirm your information on the screen. Click Modify to correct the number of power units or to view the account information again. Once you click Continue, the jurisdictions will appear. Enter your actual miles in the spaces. If you have no miles in a jurisdiction, leave the space blank. You will then be able to review the mileage you entered. If correct, click Continue. If not correct, click Modify. The next screen will display the option to renew vehicles. Click Renew Vehicles or Pend. Please do not click Pend if you have more than 200 vehicles. Fleets with 200 or more vehicles must process their renewal without pending. Once you click Renew Vehicles, the vehicle list will display. Click the Remove Vehicle box next to each vehicle only if you do not want to renew that vehicle. If you have a plate that needs replacement, click the Issue Plate box to get a new plate upon renewal you will get a new plate number if you select this box. If you would like to update or review the vehicle information for a vehicle, click the Update button, Make Changes, and Confirm. Once all the vehicle changes have been made, click Continue. If you have less than 200 vehicles in the fleet and you would like to pend your renewal, click Pend. This will save your renewal information. To retrieve a pended renewal, select Process Renewal again. A comment will be required on the first screen to advance. Verify the previously entered information, then continue up to the point you pended. When you select Continue, you will be able to add additional vehicles on the next screen. You can also preview your billing notice. Open the PDF, view, and close. This is not a final bill. You still need to complete the renewal process by clicking Complete Supplement. Once you click Complete Supplement, you will need to upload the Hubbit and the MV2852 Wisconsin Lease Verification for Owner-Operators when applicable. To begin adding files, select the Add File button. A Choose File button will populate. Select Choose File and add the Hubbit and or lease for submission. To remove an incorrect file, select the red minus button. Once files have been added, select Submit for Approval. This will send an automated email to the Motor Carrier Registration Unit for approval. All email addresses on the account will also receive this email. No further changes can be made to the renewal at this point. Select Return to Home and go back to the IRP menu. Once approved, all emails on the account will receive an email notification that the bill is available and payment can be submitted. If items are missing or need to be corrected, an automatic email will be sent notifying you of this. Follow the instructions carefully within that email on how to proceed. Renewal payment can be made under Pay Supplement or First Installment. Payment can be made via ACH or credit card. If opting to pay with an installment plan, an original irrevocable letter of credit from the bank or a surety bond must be approved and on file with the unit. For questions, contact the Motor Carrier Registration Unit.